Mix Tiandi is one of the most popular and high-end mall in Shenzhen. We have visited this mall recently and enjoyed very much. In this video, we will share our wonderful experience and hope you will like it. Here in Mix Tiandi, there are many options for food and entertainment. And I think the shops here are quite unique and novel. There are various types of restaurants here, like light meals. The layout of this shopping mall a bit complicated. I have never figured it out. Look, an interesting ribbon. There's a steakhouse here. But don't waste your chance on steak when you are in Shenzhen. I think there are about 30 or 40 restaurants here. We've chosen a restaurant that serves an away cuisine today, because I haven't really tried an away cuisine before. The ambience of this restaurant is quite good. Since the Chunyang Festival is a working day in the mainland, there were many customers that day. Let's take a look at the menu first. The specialties of an away cuisine. One of them is this. Ah, this fugi yiping bao, meaning wells and fortune pot. And there's also chugiyu, or stinky bee fish. For their restaurant, I feel it's more of a heavy taste. Many dishes are mainly salty and fresh, and then there are some quite spicy. The first dish is here. This is a dish with fancy presentation. Chicken soup and ham with chicken feather vegetable. This vegetable should be blended for about one minute. The soup is very tasty because it is chicken soup, plus the freshness of the ham. Next, we have a cold dish. Preserved egg with tofu. Ham, there's nothing too special about it. Taste is just average. Here comes the main dish. We have ordered fugi yiping bao. It means wealth and fortune in a pot. This is a cake and shrimp. There is also meatball and squid, plus one abalone, and some egg dumplings. Below are bamboo shoots and tea tree mushrooms. I think they are quite salty and tasty. It goes very well with rice. Don't underestimate what comes next. It's vegetable rice cooked with lard. Because of the lard, it tastes really good, but not too healthy. I estimate this whole pot can serve three people. For dessert, we ordered a glutinous rice steak. I just like eating glutinous things. It's made very well. Finally comes our bill. It costs us renminbi to 50 in total for this lunch. So on average renminbi slightly above 100 per people. I think it's a reasonable deal. After lunch, we wander around the mall to help digestion. The shops within the mall are quite interesting. This is a niche shop that sells furniture and household products. It's hard to resist this kind of plush toy. I just can't resist this stuffed toy. This jelly cat is really, really cute. Want to have all of them? There are other decorations in this furniture shop. 
batteries aren't cheap. We found an interesting looking mirror. What do you think it looks like? After the shopping, it's again time for dessert. Recently this um handmade brand is very popular in mainland. If you want to order a beverage, you then need to wait for more than one hour. Their milk tea is mainly made with buffalo milk, so the milk taste is particularly fresh and strong. However, if you only order ice cream, then you don't necessarily need to wait. I bought this one only for 16 renminbi. It tastes really good. Here is the arcade. How does this compare with your dance? This pinball game is so fun. It's basically a gambling game where money makes money. The game is about squeezing the large organ balls down. It's also called the Halley Ball. After the Halley Ball is pushed down, it will roll to the stairs on the right. And then we'll randomly slip into one block. Based on the color of the block that the Halley Ball slips into, the machine will give you different amount of tickets. The jackpot award is 800 tickets. Here we have several Halley Balls got pushed down in a row. Feels like the machine may not have enough tickets left. Here you see, the screen shows help. It means the machine is running out of tickets. So we'll need a staff to replenish the tickets. This is actually a game that costs quite some money. But we had big fun. It's the first time I ever used this ticket collection machine. You see we have won a lot of tickets. Such amount of ticket is hard for the machine to handle. We then come to Huawei store to see if there is any new Mate 60 available. But unfortunately it's out of stock. And the store doesn't take our order. Here is the place for our dinner. It's a stylish restaurant called Yuangu. Last time this restaurant left us a very good impression. Their menu doesn't offer that many options. Plus some dish in the menu is not available. We ordered a drink, inspired by Chinese plum wine. They use China traditional palm as inspiration to create the food and drinks here. It's kind of an innovation. This appetizer is my most recommended. It's made of spinach and delino bacteria. Inside there are some nuts and dried grapes. It tastes particularly delicious when mixed together. Mainly, it also contains sesame oil. So the taste of this dish is quite rich. This is chestnut grilled chicken. The taste is just average. It tastes sweet.
the chicken is still quite tender. This dish of crochet carp and vegetables, its appearance seems ordinary. But the crochet carp soup is very delicious. Finally, this is a dessert. It is made of yam and taro. And above that is bird nest. It doesn't taste very sweet. Precisely a level I like. It tastes really good. The dinner costs us 300 renminbi. Because we order drinks, that drink alone costs 100 renminbi. So the costs are very reasonable. So that's pretty much our day in Shenzhen Mixed Tea and the Shopping Mall. This mall is kind of fun. If you like it, feel free to like and follow our channel. Thank you for your time. We spent 1200 a day for both of us, so on average it costs 600 per person. What do you think about the price?